Hello all you space alien loving cosmonauts, as always I am Cosmic and today we're going to be reviewing Stellaris Leviathans, the new DLC expansion for the Strategy 4X game developed by Paradox Development Studio and published by Paradox Interactive. Now I'm actually going to be reviewing the game plus the expansion because I never got to review Stellaris when it originally came out and it was a game of great interest to me at the time. Now after playing more hours than I would care to admit of the new game plus the expansion and the new Heinlein update, I have to say I bloody love this game. I've always been one for a good strategy 4x game, however I found that I'm very picky and choosy in terms of the execution. I think for me what's very important is not only the core mechanics of the game are good but also the aesthetic has to be just right for me for it to really really appeal to me on a sense that I really want to invest 100 hours plus into this game. And Stellaris does a good job of capturing your imagination that way. As you start the game, you are obviously going to have to choose a faction, and there are preset factions for you to choose from, but the best thing about Stellaris for me is the fact that you can create your own. You can choose from a multitude of appearances, a multitude of races, you can even choose what government type you're going to be a part of, your ethics, which will affect certain things like the way race other races perceive you and it will also give you bonuses to certain things. I prefer to be a military fanatic because I'm an absolute crazy nut job so that is my preferred stance of government. I obviously opted to choose my own creation for factions and created the Cosmician Sovereignty which is a empire based upon military fanatic principles with a spiritualist component. So essentially we have a divine mandate, a divine mandate date to wipe every alien off the face of the galaxy. Now once you actually get into the game, the game works from a very simple premise and it works like most traditional 4X games do. You have your planets and your colonies, once you have established various colonies on other worlds, that will require maintenance and you have surface blocks where you can build buildings and you have to ensure that your population is happy as well as well fed because a population that is starving will start to decline and each structure on a block will require require a population unit to essentially make it work otherwise it's going to be deactivated and inactive and it won't give you the bonuses that you need. Now on top of that you have your spaceships. Now there are a variety of ships available such as colony ships and transport ships that are used to transport populations from one planet to another but most importantly are the three main classes construction ships, science ships and military vessels. Now construction ships are used to create outposts, they can create um, off-world mining facilities facilities, research centers for like, for example, if there's an asteroid that has a good mineral, then you are able to use the construction ship to build a off-world mining post on that and you will be able to reap the benefits from that. Science ships are used to explore and research certain anomalies that you come across in the galaxy. So before you can actually go and construct mining and research or colonize planets you have to actually survey a system so you send your science ship to survey a system once it comes back with all the available data you're able to then use that system to your advantage the third is of course military vessels now military vessels work as you would expect them to they're military vessels so as you construct them they will form fleets and you can merge those fleets and separate them how you want and it's a very simple system that people who have played other grand strategies and other forexes will fit right into without much of a problem. What I like most about Stellaris as its core game is the fact that it really focuses around the story and lore of the universe. Not in a direct or linear sense, it's more a case of you get certain quest chains, you unlock various mysteries surrounding various extinct species, you get to unlock specialized research. If you encounter space creatures or crystalline entities and you destroy them, you can research their dead corpses for rare technologies. And then on top of that, you also have your leader system. So each part of your empire, whether it's military, science, or governorship of colonies requires a leader and you need to put leaders in to be able to get certain bonuses and on top of that you know leaders will also grow old and die and you have to replace them they will gain in 
skill and level so they get better as they go along and the whole thing just culminates into something that is really really fun to play and what's most important i feel is that there's a sense of personality about the entire game the game has a lot of character and that's mainly due to its execution it's really smooth it's really fluid it allows a lot of customization there's a lot of depth to every element of the game and on top of that it has an overall execution of aesthetic where it's just sleek it looks great and it feels like it's your own especially when you've created your own faction this feels like your story this feels like your empire the things that happen in the game the various races that you encounter the you know semi randomized nature of everything is so much fun and it feels like it's unique every time you play now the one major problem that the original game had was the fact that it really lacked in mid game content you're talking there was nothing to do other than continue what you were doing in terms of trying to expand and collect more resources balance your budget that kind of thing but there was no real meat to the mid game now the new expansions leviathans tries to address that with the introduction of several new features Features. and on top of that you have the free update which is the Heimlin update which is a huge update that really changes a lot of the systems and tries to rework it to make it a more playable open game. So let's start with the expansion itself, the paid expansion, which is Leviathans. Now this introduces the Enclave system, it introduces the Guardian Leviathans, and it introduces the new event War in Heaven. So let's start with the latter, let's start with War in Heaven. Now in the game you have fallen empires, which are essentially empires that have existed long before you discovered spaceflight. They're technologically advanced, their military is advanced, and but they are stagnant. They've gone into a state of stagnation and sometimes decline, so they don't actively try and expand their empire, but they are powerful nonetheless. The War in Heaven event occurs when two fallen empires go to war, and it is a galaxy-wide event that drags in multiple factions, multiple races. Now, players can try and stay out of it, but it's likely that you'll want to choose a side and destroy the other faction to gain the other faction's you know, confidence and trust so that you can utilize them in the future. It is a really fun event that, especially if you play on a higher difficulty, will really, really test your skills and management skills on top of as well as your military skills because... It is a galaxy-wide event, so you're going to have multiple factions fighting, you're going to have multiple movements, and it really does help make the galaxy feel somewhat alive in that sense, because anything can happen. You have two really powerful factions fighting, then you have everybody else fighting for different sides. You know, the, the faction right next to you could be on the opposite side of the war to you which means that you then have a border you know a border dispute and you're gonna have to fight a war on several different fronts and it really does make the game a lot more interesting sometimes a bit tense sometimes a bit hectic and you can incur heavy losses or ultimately get destroyed but it is fun nonetheless next of course is the enclave system now that is something that really disappointed me overall i felt that the enclave system wasn't really fleshed out enough it is essentially a system where you have three enclaves which are essentially three sub factions that trade in some form of technology minerals or they can help you with your population happiness and things like that and they are best utilized mid game to late game when you have enough clout and leverage to make them respect you but other than that they don't really do anything so they're a great resource to utilize in the diplomatic sense where you can trade for something if you really, really need something. But other than that, they don't really do anything. They're just kind of they're static and they stand there. And I think it would have been great for them to have some really unique quest chains in there that you could explore their empire, what they used to be, and you could gain certain rewards for doing that. The last major thing and probably the most fun thing in Stellaris to date is the Guardian Leviathans themselves. There are eight Guardian Leviathans, and these are giant boss battles, essentially. I know boss battles in a 4X, it's a hell of a lot of fun. They can be space creatures, they can be technology, you know, from uh, ancient civilization, and they will take a hell of a lot of forces to take down. They are very powerful, each has their own unique tactics, they have strengths and weaknesses, so, you know, maybe you have an entire fleet of missiles, 
that you use to take down one guardian but the next guardian is pretty resistant to missile damage then you're going to get wiped out and i'm talking about these are tough as nails they are sons of bitches when it comes to trying to take them down and if you really piss one off before you're ready they can do some serious damage to your empire on the bright side however if you manage to take one down the rewards are really great they guard all of them each of the eight guard a really rare treasure so it might be a really rare piece of technology something like that and it is really rewarding to take them down it's also the battle itself is a lot of fun it's long it's tense it can be hectic you can incur some heavy losses even if you're you know thinking that you're clearly superior to that it's going to chew away at your military resources that is for sure and it is a lot of fun and it's one of those things that it's just a really great addition to the overall experience the last thing i wanted to touch on which will round off the review because i don't want to get too much into the core game of stellaris because it's been reviewed multiple times but i just wanted to really give my opinion on it the last thing i wanted to touch on is the heimlin update now the heimlin update is a giant free update that really really changes a lot of the game it reworks a lot of the systems and for me makes the game more open more fun and more playable the reason for this is, I mean, there's a multitude of changes. I'm not going to talk about them all, but ultimately what the update does is it allows you, it allows people to play more different play styles. So previously, one thing that couldn't really be done because it wasn't really viable was farming worlds, where essentially you would colonize a world and you would just have that world be full of food resource and you would farm population from that and then basically migrate that population to the planets that need it that wasn't really viable pre this now it is and there's so many different ways to play the game now it's not just a strict path of go military go technology go diplomatic it is definitely a case of you can really play the way you want to play the game thanks to the update the update has changed and bug fixed and balanced a lot of different things space creatures in particular have had a major rework so that they can have a multitude of different weaponry and shields and stuff so they are a lot more tough to take down and they also have different resources available as rewards for taking them down and it's a lot of fun i have to say i was really impressed with the free update and i think that if you don't get the leviathans which i think you should i think it's definitely a must for people who already have Stellaris. But if you don't, you're definitely going to get a lot of content and a lot of good things coming out of the free update by itself. I feel overall Stellaris is a fantastic game. It is certainly one of the best strategy 4Xs I have played this year today. I think the execution is solid. It runs really well. There's a lot of depth. There's a lot of customization. And I think that it is overall just a really great package. With the addition of Leviathans and the new free update Heimlin, I think that it makes the game even better than it has ever been before. And it's certainly something that I think that if you enjoy strategy games, you enjoy 4X games, it's well worth picking up because you will get hundreds of hours of enjoyment out of this game. So that is my review of Stellaris Leviathans. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you like the video, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. And as always, I will see you next time.